The Sung Fong 3 is a Taiwanese domestically produced supersonic anti ship missile developed by the National Changshan Institute of Science and Technology. It entered service in 2008 and serves as the primary anti ship weapon for the Taiwanese Navy, primarily used to target enemy surface vessels. The most notable feature of the Sung Fong 3 is its high speed, with a maximum flight velocity of up to Mach 4.5, allowing it to effectively penetrate enemy air defense networks. The military has classified it as a hypersonic anti ship missile. When launched, it cruises within the atmosphere, then suddenly accelerates when approaching the target vessel. During this acceleration phase, its speed approaches the maximum of Mach 4.5. It is stated that if the enemy's radar picks it up, there is only a 30-second window to evade. If it can't be evaded within that time frame, there is no chance of escape. With a Sung Fong 3 anti-ship missile deployed, all enemy countermeasures become ineffective. <laughs> If they fail to intercept, the target will inevitably be hit. The missile boasts an impressive range, with the original Sung Fong 3 capable of reaching up to 120 kilometers, providing an effective strike range against enemy surface vessels. There are several variants of the Sung Fong 3, including the Sung Fong 3B, which is a land-based standard version with an extended range of 200 kilometers. The Sung Fong 3C, an extended-range land-based variant, is the latest model, featuring a range extended to 400 km and employing advanced guidance systems for precise targeting. The Sung Fong 3, Brave Wine 3, is the backbone of the Taiwanese Navy's anti-ship capabilities. primarily employed for attacking enemy surface vessels. It possesses advantages such as long range, high speed, and a formidable warhead, allowing it to effectively breach enemy air defense systems and strike enemy surface vessels with precision. In terms of tactical application, the Sung Fong 3 can adopt several strategies. 1. Salvo Firing the Sung Fong 3 can be employed in a salvo firing mode to increase its hit probability against enemy surface vessels. 2. Long range strikes. With its extended range, the Sung Fong 3 can be launched from Taiwan proper, enabling it to conduct long range strikes against enemy surface vessels. <laughs> 3. Surprise assaults. Thanks to its high speed, the Sung Fong 3 is capable of executing surprise assault attacks, reducing the enemy's defensive preparation time. The most challenging aspect for the People's Liberation Army, PLA, is dealing with saturation attacks using the Sung Fong 3. The Taiwanese Navy can deploy the Sung Fong 3 in various bases on both the main island of Taiwan and outlying islands to establish a multidimensional strike network. As enemy surface vessels approach the Taiwan Strait, the Taiwanese Navy can unleash a large number of three missiles in a salvo to heighten the probability of hitting targets. The launch platforms for the Sung Fong 3 include the Cheng Kung class guided missile frigates, Ching Cheng class patrol vessels, Tua Jiang class patrol vessels, Anping class patrol and rescue vessels, land based fixed missile launch sites, and mobile missile launch vehicles. Prior to enemy surface vessels crossing the median line of the Taiwan Strait, Taiwan can launch Sung Fong 3 missiles to conduct multi angle strikes against the enemy, weakening their offensive. Let's take a look at this photograph. This is a target ship, 
and it has sustained a large hole from being struck. These are the masterpieces of anti-ship missiles. It signifies that today, we are going to strike this target ship, and regardless of where we intend to strike, our military possesses substantial destructive power. The largest hole here was made by our Sung Fong missile. The attack capability and destructive power of our Sung Fong missile are evident from this. The military released this photograph to indicate that the Sung Fong can target objects 4 to 500 kilometers away and still achieve precision hits after such a great distance. From this photo, you can clearly see its immense destructive power. The Ministry of National Defense has confirmed that this is the Sung Fong 4, this is the Sung Fong 2, and this is the Harpoon. Comparing the Sung Fong 3 with the Sung Fong 2 and the Harpoon missile, it's evident that the destructive power of our Sung Fong 3 far surpasses them. The Sung Fong missile has been shrouded in secrecy by the military. It wasn't until a very unfortunate incident where a fishing boat was inadvertently hit, resulting in the captain's death, that information about the Sung Fong missile gradually became public. In the event of enemy surface vessels conducting landing operations towards Taiwan, the Taiwanese Navy can launch a large number of Sung Fong 3 missiles in a saturation attack to deter the enemy's landing operations. What's even more formidable is that the Sung Fong 3 missile can play the role of a carrier killer. With its long range, precision, and ability to fly close to the sea, it truly possesses tremendous power. On April 13, 2022, the Ukrainian Navy used the Neptune anti-ship missile to hit the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, the cruiser Moscow, causing it to sink. This marked a significant loss for the Russian Navy in the Ukrainian conflict. The Neptune missile is a subsonic anti-ship missile developed by the Ukrainian defense industry. It was developed by the Ukrainian Defense Industry Company and has a range of 280 kilometers, with a warhead weight of 150 kilograms. The Neptune missile utilizes inertial and active radar guidance, resulting in a high hit probability. On April 13, the Ukrainian Navy launched two Neptune missiles from coastal launchers near Odessa, hitting the cruiser Moscow. The Moscow cruiser was the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, with a displacement of 11,490 tons, making it one of the most advanced cruisers in the Russian Navy. After being hit, the Moscow cruiser caught fire and subsequently sank that night. Initially, the Russian Ministry of Defense stated that the Moscow cruiser sank due to an ammunition depot explosion, but later admitted it was hit by a Ukrainian Neptune missile. The sinking of the cruiser Moscow marked a significant loss for the Russian Navy in the Ukrainian conflict. At the same time, the successful destruction of the Moscow by the Neptune missile greatly boosted the morale of the Ukrainian Navy. The success of the Neptune missile also demonstrates that the Taiwanese Navy has the capability to effectively engage large vessels of the People's Liberation Army. The Sung Fong 3 has also played crucial roles in the following real life cases. On December 2, 2008, during Taiwan's Han Kuang 21 military exercise, the Sung Fong 3 conducted its first live fire launch and successfully hit its target. On January 2, 2016, during Han Kuang 33, the Sung Fong 3 again conducted a live fire launch and achieved another successful hit. In the Han Kuang 38 exercise as of July 1, 2023, the Sung Fong 3 conducted a live fire launch and once again successfully hit its target. This exercise also showcased the operational capabilities of the Sung Fong 3 in complex sea conditions. Summing up these real life cases, the Sung Fong 3 demonstrated its precision by hitting all its targets intact. This proves that not only has the Sung Fong 3 increased its range and speed, but it has also become even more accurate. The Sung Fong 3 is a crucial weapon system for the Taiwanese Navy and plays a vital role in the security of the Taiwan Strait. In the future, 
the Sung Phone 3 will continue to undergo upgrades and improvements to better address future security challenges. That concludes this episode. I'm Zhang Yakin. Feel free to leave comments in the discussion section. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.